नाउ लेट एस डिस्कस अबाउट यासिड प्रॉपर्टीज इन ट्रांसैक्शन मैनेजमेंट इन डीबीएमए सब्जेक्ट ट्रांसैक्शन मींस ए सेट ऑफ ऑपरेशंस ए कलेक्शन ऑफ ऑपरेशंस लाइक वी कैन परफॉर्म रीड ऑपरेशन राइट ऑपरेशन एंड सम मैथमेटिक ऑपरेशन लाइक एडिशन सब्ट्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लिकेशन लाइक वाइज नो लेट सी वॉट इज यासिट ए स्टैंड फॉर एटामिटी सी स्टैंड फॉर कंसिस्टेंसी आई स्टैंड फॉर आइसोलेशन डी स्टैंड फॉर ड्यूरेबिलिटी सो एनी ट्रांसैक्शन मस्ट प्रोसेस दीज फोर प्रॉपर्टीज फर्स्ट लेटर्स डिस्कस अबाउट द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी that is atomicity atomicity means either all or none either all or none atomicity means that either the entire transaction is executed completely or doesn't execute at all let's take an example let we have a transaction which totally contains 100 instructions 100 instructions so let all the 100 instructions are executed successfully so that is nothing but transaction we have to execute all the instructions of the transaction completely or let us assume that the first 99 instructions are executed successfully there is a problem yet 100 instruction so the first 99 instructions are executed completely but there is a problem yet 100 instruction then what will happen is again we have to roll back to the starting instruction so that means again we have to restart the execution of the instruction from the starting instruction so that means here we have to abort that instruction so that is the point here it means that either the entire transaction is executed completely so we have to execute the entire transaction completely either all or does not execute at all so we are none so none means we should not execute that instruction at all that means there is no partial execution there is no partial execution if there is any any error yet any instruction again we have to roll back to the starting instruction there is no partial execution so that means a transaction cannot be resumed a transaction cannot be resumed if we take the example of a movie downloading let internet fails then what will happen let 90% of the movie is downloaded after that internet fails so again after some time what will do we can resume the movie downloading so we can resume the movie downloading so that means we can download the remaining 10% of the movie there is no problem but here a transaction cannot be resumed but we can restart the transaction so restarting the transaction means again we have to start execution of the first instruction okay that is the point each transaction is treated as a single unit so if we have 100 instructions then all the 100 instructions will be treated as a single unit so we have to execute all the 100 instructions at once that either completes fully so we have to execute all the instructions completely or doesn't execute at all if there is a problem then we again we have to roll back to the first instruction we have to roll back to the first instruction of the transaction okay yatamicity involves two operations the first operation is commit the second operation is abort if all the instructions of the transaction is completed successfully then we have to commit the transaction we have to after executing all the instructions then we have to commit the transaction so committing means saving those changes permanently so all those changes 
will be visible to the user. That is the point. If a transaction commits, then the changes made to the database are visible to the user. Whereas, about. About means if there is a problem at any instruction, what we are doing? We are aborting the instruction. Again, we are restarting the instruction. Again, we are restarting the transaction. We are rollbacking, we are rollbacking to the first instruction of the transaction. So that means those changes will not be saved. So those changes will not be visible to the user. That is the point. If a transaction aborts, any changes made to the database are not visible to the user. So once the transaction is executed, then we may execute either commit or abort. So commit means the transaction is executed successfully. Whereas abort means there is a problem. So this is about atomicity property. Now let's see the second property that is consistency. Consistency means correctness. Let's see the example. Let we have two accounts such as A and B. Before performing the transaction, A account balance is 3000. We are debiting 1000 rupees. So the available balance is 3000 minus 1000 means 2000. So here the output is debited successfully. 1000 rupees debited successfully. Now we are depositing that 1000 amount into the B account. Before performing the transaction, B account balance is 5000. We are crediting that 1000 amount here. So that amount is 1000. So what is the available balance? So this 1000 is added to 5000, 6000. So before performing the operation, before performing the transaction, the sum of accounts of these two is 3000 plus 5000. That is 8000. <coughs> After performing the transaction, the sum of balances in both the accounts is 2000 plus 6000. So that should be equal. That is nothing but consistency. Consistency means before transaction starts and after the transaction is completed, the sum of accounts should be equal. So before the transaction starts, what, what is the sum of the account? 3000 plus 5000, that is 8000. After the transaction completed, sum of accounts 2000 plus 6000. So in A, we have 2000 available balance. In B, 6,000. So 2,000 plus 6,000 means 8,000. So 8,000 double equal to 8,000. So we can say that we have satisfied the consistency property. Consistency ensures that any transaction can only bring the database from one value state to the another value state. So consistency means we can, we can satisfy this property. We can bring the database from one valid state to another valid state okay so this is about consistency now let's see the third property that is isolation isolation is mainly useful when we are executing multiple transactions concurrently parallelly let let us take an example let we have three transactions such as t1 t2 t3 here we are performing some read operation R of A. Here also we are performing read operation R of B. Here also we are here we are performing some write operation W of C. Here we are executing these three transactions concurrently. Concurrently. So some of the instructions of T1 will be executed later. Some of the instructions of T3 will be executed later. Some of the instruction of T2 will be executed later t1 remaining instructions will get executed later some of the instructions of t3 will be executed so all the three instructions are to be executed concurrently parallelly so in this type of occasion in order to hide the intermediate state of one transaction to another transaction we are using the isolation property let's see that point isolation ensures that Concurrent transactions are isolated from each other. That is, one transaction intermediate state 
is not visible to the other transaction. So here let some of the instructions of T1 are executed. Then those uh, that result that result will not be visible to the other transaction. Let some of the instructions of T2 are executed. So that result will not be visible to the remaining transactions. That is nothing but what is isolation. So here what we are doing is with the help of the isolation, we are converting the parallel transactions. The parallel transactions are converted to the serial transactions. So we are converting the parallel transactions into the serial transactions. So serial transactions means one after another. So first the instructions of T1 are executed successfully. So once T1 is over, then it will be committed. Next, the instructions of T2 are completed. Once it is over, it will be committed. Next, the instructions of T3 are completed. So once it is over, it is committed. So this is about what is isolation. The best example for the isolation is let us assume that two persons want to book the same movie ticket simultaneously. Let we have a five number. Let two persons wants to book this ticket simultaneously. Then what we are doing is we are implementing here serial transactions. So the first two person books. So initially first two person books this ticket. So he will get the ticket successfully. So the transaction is completed. Next second person will try for this will try for this uh, uh, booking but the transaction will fails the transaction will fails so we so the second person will not get the ticket so this is about what is isolation isolation means we are converting the parallel transactions into the serial transactions okay and the fourth property is durability so durability means once all the instructions of the transaction are completed then we are committing the transaction. So whenever we commit the transaction, then all those changes will be permanently saved in the computer. So even if the system fail, even if the network fail, then there is no problem. So we can get that data. So that is durability. Durability guarantees that once a transaction is committed, its changes are permanently stored and will survive even if the system fails so when we are committing the transaction what will happen those changes will be permanently stored in the computer those changes will be visible to the user so that will be done with the help of this property durability property so this is about the acid properties in dbms please like the video subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends thanks for watching